We are live. We're live. Interesting that it's always like, it's not always, but some games choose to make you the bad guys. Not even the bad guys, just, I don't know, like. I mean, there's hardly any games where you're the bad guy. The game is still fucking loud. Might be too quiet. So we're going to go through the tutorial. Heaven's Priest. Let's go. Now we've seen a ton of gameplay of this, Matt. Probably twice as much as I. As I. And um, so we're, we're probably going to kill it. I mean, I don't want to <laughs> brag. But I feel like this is going to be an easy, easy win. All right, let's play our Hornbreaker Prince. We got limited capacity on our floors. Weird. And they're dead next turn. How come it doesn't show me the. Oh, it hasn't gone over that in the tutorial yet, I think. Hmm. A brief respite. And we get the benefit of being able to have a regen. Defeat the boss to win the battle. He is relentless, so he just keeps fucking going. Go. Fucking got him. We got Ritual of Battle, applies Rage 6, Ascend a Unit, or Piercing, deal 5 damage. Mm. I like the idea of hooking all of them. No, um, of, of Hornbreak as a. Mainly because it does have piercing, so it just avoids armor, right? So you can merc some units uh, a little bit better with that. But at the same time, I kind of like rage too. Yeah. Like in my opinion, if a card doesn't start with rage, then adding a rage on top of it, when the rage goes down, it's like not that big of a deal. Not as bad. Yeah. Yeah. Restore 10 health to a friendly unit, deal damage to the front enemy equal to 5 times the amount healed. That's really good with the big boys. Wildwood Sap is always pretty good. I mean, region 5 is amazing. I think we go Restoration, Destination. Just go big? Yeah, I assume we'll probably get a, a big. Alright, so we want to go upgrade. So we'll get a unit if we do that one. And then what do we get over here? Just money and then uh, forging spells. Mm -hmm. I mean, you want to get a unit, I guess? Yeah. Dude, Can't even play fiend. that. Oh, because it costs four? Mm -hmm. We'd have to reduce the cost before we could use it. 
Oh, wait. I might be able to... Oh, dude. Can you go back? No, I have to pick. Oh, shit. All right. So this is a gamble, but... I mean, if we can get Demon Fiend, that'd be pretty fucking sick. Okay, so... I don't remember how much it costs usually to reduce the cost of something. I know for spell cards, it's like 30. Or no, it's... It's, 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 it's still 20. It's, it's 20. So do we want to re-roll and try to hope for it or just be patient with it and wait till the next time we get around to it and just have this card be in our fucking hand, I guess? Because mm. upgrading a unit for plus 10 attack would be great for our... Well, we can't upgrade our, our main dude, but... Hmm. Oh, this this keyboard part has uh Persona yeah, 5 Yeah, Persona vibes. 5, yeah. That's what I was thinking. So we only have Demon Fiend, Hornbreaker Prince, and then a bunch of uh train stewards. Yeah. And rage. And rage. Um I feel like we got to reroll just to try to get fuck well did we want to give a uh, a train steward a bunch of health or just save our money shit I had like barely even seen this screen so that gives you magic stuff in another unit oh my god did we make a mistake we should have checked this before ah fuck we don't get one until, like, the next one. All right, spend 50 to purge it, man. All right, we got to just cut our losses now. Well, we might be able to get something that gives us more energy, too. Yeah. Okay, well, whatever you feel like is good, then. I mean, upgrading with seven... We could stack well with the card that we have. <laughs> just build him up, and then... <laughs> When, when we finally when... get... <laughs> I do fuck it. It's the When tutorial. this pops, it's gonna pop. And it won't stop popping. Barb disciples, so they have spikes. That's gonna be a problem. Oh, look how pretty he is. I can't wait till we can use him. Combat previews are now available. Ah, see. Alright, well, we definitely gotta play... Ooh, okay, so do we... I don't think it's safe to... Well, no, they're... Yeah, they're doing six damage. I don't think it's safe to uh, apply ritual of the thing just yet. We, we need to protect our dude. Because we could lose, like, right now. Oh, that guy gave him spikes. Okay. Oh, right. Yeah. Hmm. We're only doing five damage. Now we're doing ten damage. He's still not dead. Damn. Yeah, I mean, this... but he has no attack, so it's like. Okay. Definitely worth just getting rid of a enemy. These guys don't have attack anyway, so they're yeah. not going to hurt our... Once Seraph is defeated, I'm leaving this train. Wait, can we... So wait, is that going to just do like five damage? Yes. 
Did that consume? No. Oh, sick. Well, that's good. That makes it a much easier um, decision to use. You can right click. Fuck yeah. Oh, shit. He's the last guy, right? Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah, he is relentless. Okay, he's relentless. These guys are going to die pretty much no matter what in two hits. Okay, so let's take a look at this. He has 50 health. We do 20 damage with our pyre. Um, we can do... Oh, shit. We'll do 17. Well, how much damage does he do? 7. So they're going to be able to do... Uh, two attacks. 34. Nope, 17. Because really? he attacks first. Oh. Fuck. Well, at least it was only two turns. We reduced it, I think, by one whole turn. All right, so we got Welder Helper. When it summons, it applies 15 armor to the friendly, front and uh, friendly, friendly yeah. unit. Jesus Christ. Horn Break again and Hidden Passage again. I think having another unit is probably pretty good. Yeah. Ooh, okay, so Invigorating Solution. Consume, draw three next turn. I don't really like that card that much. I don't like things that are like I, I like the draw, but I don't like postponing the 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 effect. But I mean, it could be good. Wildwood Sap and then Steel Enhancer. I mean, Steel Enhancer is pretty good. Also, I guess the fact that that card is free makes up for the delayed gratification. Ooh, artifact. Artifact. Or unit. And spell, Lord. We get. Sp Oh, well, okay, so let's think about this. So artifact can increase our energy, right? Like there are artifacts that increase his energy. Yeah. There's a potential there. Um, are there any units with hell horn that increase energy? I don't, I don't uh, think so. Probably not. And it's not likely that we're going to get a, um, a magic card to, to, to help with that issue either. Hopefully our internet's still up, because we just had a slight blinking up. Oh, we're still alive. I don't know how that's possible. Well, the internet is connected to a battery. Yeah, but like, that battery reacts so quickly where it... I just always expect our router to just, like, as soon as there's even a slight hiccup, <laughs> to stop working and restart, you know? Um, okay, I mean, whichever you think is best. Um, I I think it's hard to say. I mean, making these things cost cheaper would be good. That's true. A relic would be nice as well. Yeah, we can save our money. Uh... All right, so your pyre gets 40 health or apply days to enemy units when they enter the floor below the pyre room. That one was really good until I got to the last bit of the line. I was like, oh, play days when they come in? Fuck yeah. But it's only for the one just below the pyre room. Still not bad. I mean, having some extra security of just having a ton of more, uh, just some more health, I think might benefit us. All right, what do we got? What do we got? As you pass a train graveyard, you notice several of your fallen allies. Within the beasts of gnarled steel lie now extinguished pyre shards. Even further inside the rubble, you can make out some last protected treasures. Perhaps if you were to relight the pyre shards using some of your own, the trains would reveal their value. To lose three pyre hearth, pyre health, Jesus. Get hearthstone, hearthstone, uh, medium shard, you get blood for blood. Other there on the left. So when your pyre kills a unit, restore five pyre health. Friendly units gets plus to 10 and heartless. Ooh. Heartless cannot be healed. Yeah. Oh. Okay. No, that kind of sucks. Yeah. What's the top one do? Oh, that's pretty good. We just 
Upgrade a train steward. I th yeah, I think that's good. Yeah. Doesn't matter that that thing lives. Oh, nice. Ah, Daedalus. It's got armor. That's what that plating steel was. Go, oh, constructed explosives enter with damage shield. Okay. Daedalus is the strongest boss you face yet. He moves between floors freely, but can be attacked if you clear out other enemies on that floor. Watch out for triggers. This bomb has a triggered ability and will explode on its turn, dealing damage. Mouse over units with purple trigger icon to see the details of their abilities. So we're not likely to kill this thing, unfortunately. Because we can hit it once with that, and then we're going to have to hit it, which is yeah. it's going through everything else, and we don't have sweep. We do have multi-strike multi on our Hornbreaker Prince, though, which means we'll go through nobody. But never mind. God damn it. Now that I think about it, it might have been better to take out one of the other units instead of... Yeah, I thought the damage... I didn't think it was spell shield. I thought his damage shield does both. Uh, yeah, just like any, I guess. Does spell shields protect against, um, against status effects too, from a spell? It's like anything. Uh, I guess. Like frozen or something like that. Yeah, I think taking out one of those guys is good. Okay, so he's not dying, which is nice. Ooh, this is tough. It really sucks that we got our fucking detonation card on the other one. Yeah. Well, at least we have this big boy. Oh, I should have played him. Well, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay, I think we'll be fine. I'm just gonna be a little spicy. We have a ton of pirate health, so. God damn it. Well, we can give our uh, multi strike guy some rage, which means he'll. Was that plus six damage? So he'll do twenty-one times two. So he'll definitely kill that first enemy at least. In fact, actually, the first enemy is. Oh no! Unfortunately, we're not gonna really get through him. Um, to be able to kill the guy behind, uh, to hit that guy behind him, that kind of sucks. Oh well, he'll take one damage. banking on this guy taking damage and then healing. I was thinking um, of well I guess oh I see what you're saying you're going to heal that guy so you can get the full 10 when you did yeah, get the card never mind that is yeah. much smarter he has more health yeah a bigger pool okay sick What's his total health? Who's? Oh, uh, that guy. 33. Yeah. Yeah, so you definitely want to hurt yourself a little bit. And then restoration, that'll do 8 times 5. Nice. So we have 50 damage. It's pretty good. And that's all we can do. So... But he's going to be taking 175 damage. Alright, so we can probably 
we can get him below 20 by the time he gets up there then we're good yep Six. so now he's, he's only got his once bitch Yo, but when we get the ability to use our demon fiend Yo, impolate. Deal damage to the front enemy. Oh, unit. we can make Channel Song hit the dude. Oh, we can tr we we can, we can force Channel Song. Mhm. Mm Yo, that's pretty good. That's definitely a great backup plan. Branded Warrior, Rage Four, Slay, apply three rage to friendly units. That's pretty good. And it says friendly units, so does that mean on that floor? I guess. Yeah. Okay. And then Husk Hermit with, has Sweep, which is awesome. And then Thorn Hollow, which is like a, just a better Husk Hermit, in my opinion. Less health, but still no, awesome. No, it gains 40. Max. Oh, right. All these seem pretty good. Yeah. Did we want more defensive options so we can be a, a little bit, like, we can feel a little bit better about our situation? Or did we want to go, like... Aggressive. Do those units take up the same space? The ones that we're looking at down there? I think they're all two. Oh, except for him, he's three. Okay. So that's actually a, a selling point for Branded Warrior, is having a smaller unit. Um, but they all cost one, which is crazy to me. I mean, I think we can get the sweep and, uh, and that'll, like this, the, the ball's out of control, though. That's only if we kill a bunch of shit. That's only if it if kills. If it kills shit. Yeah. I think we go sweep. Okay. I guess a solid like middle ground choice um plus one energy per turn um yeah well if we get this then we can put two train stewards and whatever capacity but if, we get if we're gonna do the channel, channel song, song thing it doesn't matter how expensive he is it reduces it to zero so just like basically bank on channel song now yeah okay because we can just get everything else out yeah, that sounds good to me. This is a full run, too, for the tutorial. So we have a couple more rooms still. There's dupe. Woke in. Hmm. I think we should probably remove. Moving cards? Yeah. Alright. So we can remove up to two cards. Let's make sure, okay, so how many how many uh, units do we have right now? We have four plus five, six, seven, and then eight, counting our... Yeah. Okay, eight. so if we have eight, then... Yeah, we can probably safely remove just two train stewards. Forge your units. Dude. Multi-strike on Husk Hermit's pretty nice. He's gonna be able to take out like a, a whole different class of those small enemies now. I feel like it's a safe choice. All right. Do we want to give our Hornbreaker Prince Slay or Multi-Strike Additional? Well, on Slay, he gets... Plus 10 attack every time he kills something, right? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Mm. I kind of feel like Slay. Yeah.
why do they always hang out in areas just before we get to another area? Undergo trials for greater risk and reward. Okay, so we can choose to activate this. The additional reward is 150 coins, but they start with Spell Shield 2. We don't rely a whole bunch on Spell Shields, except to merc tiny enemies, and that might be an issue. But I think we'll be okay now that we have the ability to proc channel song. Yeah. We'll see. Luckily, this also just goes away after a bit, too. Alright, so that's unfortunate. We're going to have to wait until the channel song comes back around before we can use it. But we can start with... I guess... Which train steward is that? The shitty oh, one. Oh, that's a shitty one. This sucks. Hmm. We can channel song a different enemy... Uh, no, it's card, consume. But yeah, it's like... That, that defeats the, the whole purpose. Yeah, yeah, it would ruin the whole thing. I'm not supposed to be here. That's good that we got this card because um, we can actually fit it in there. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, fuck. That sucks. He laughed at us. I can't believe he laughed at us. I think it's always good to give. Yeah. Oh, well, I guess it might have been good to give the the other guy the sweep dude the additional damage but all yeah but we want him to get killed so that way he falls out of control true definitely want to play their train steward and just like get him out there so we can make channel song more likely to get what we want I really hope we don't get Channel Song and Demon Fiend again in the same draw. Okay. This is Brief Respite right now. I think given our main dude, Rage, yeah. makes sense. And steel enhancer. What? I can't. Oh, duh. Final wave. Let's not save him. Uh -huh. Yep, sweet. He, he does have sweep or he doesn't oh. this doesn't bode well Matt oh perfect yes let's fucking go dude clutch like yeah, get real fun. loud Sorry. <laughs> hmm. Deal damage to the front enemy unit equal to four times the amount of armor on friendly units. Yeah. We don't really have enough armor proc for that. Sending a unit might be good. Go over the floor capacity. True. Do we need it? I don't know if we have enough big guys to may really make yeah. use of that. Dude, we might need to turn down the game even more. Because when it gets when it starts popping, it, it like it gets up there. Um, sharpen enhance with plus four attack apply spikes. 
That might be good for our sweep dude. Yeah. And then deal three damage to move that unit to the front. Restore two health to all friendly units and deal two damage to all enemy units. Dude, Glimmer without upgrades is like, it's okay. Yeah. Um, I think Glimmer's great if you don't have sweep. Yeah. I think Spikes is good. But it's a, you know. I'm just thinking we probably should try to pare down the deck. True. Really, you just need to get the... Um, the other dudes out. The uh, fireball things? Mm -hmm. The fuck they're called? The train stewards. Oh, I, I was thinking about the spells, but yeah. Okay, so we can forge spells to get new powers. We can get an artifact and some money. Um, this is a trinket. Trinket. A cavern. Cavern. I think it might be better to try to see if we can remove either, like, consume or make uh, the, um, you know, give the our channel song, like, holdover or something. Definitely grab the money first and then... Volatile Gauge. When you draw a card, its cost is randomized between zero and three. Is that, is that what I think it is, Matt? Yeah. Is that Sneko Eye? Mm -hmm. uh, draw three at each turn. And then Vapor Funnel. Apply Dazed to enemy units when they enter the Pyre Room. Basically gives them a free attack. Or the Pyre free attack. That's pretty good, considering that yeah. we have a lot of enemies coming to the Pyre Room. Hang out. Okay, so... Freestone, it's almost what we want. Um, that is also pretty good. Yeah. It would be good for Ritual Battle. I was thinking Sharpen. Or Sharpen. I was thinking just Ritual Battle, if only because then we wouldn't have to just spend our whole turn's worth of stuff to use it. Yeah. But I think making that one like everything else is also good. Hmm. Now it'll deal a hundred damage. Potentially, for sure. It's 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 in, it's interesting because like, on one hand. Permafrost, definitely. But isn't there another ability or upgrade that you can get that makes it so it's like automatically in your hand? It's or... hold over after you use it. It goes oh. back to the top of your drop pile. Right. I mean, I think maybe doing this that way. I think, yeah. That, that, that was my... Uh, assumption was that if, if we were to grab freeze, it would be for a channel song. What else we got? Oh, we can reduce spell cost again. Keepstone. Upgrade a spell to gain holdover. Yo, freeze and holdover. <laughs> Give this, make it free. Yeah. And then holdover. We can also reduce this and give it holdover. That might all. That or might. we can make this have holdover. Or make it free. Oh, damn. Oh, for a second, I thought you applied it twice. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> hmm. Or we make this free and give it holdover. And then we just get plus three, plus three every turn. That's That seems pretty good. For free. Yeah. And for one energy, you just get. The plus four and then spikes. Yeah, let, you know, let's get crazy. <laughs> yeah, making that free before holdover, I think, is really good. Because then it, it, you don't have to think about whether or not you can use it. You just always use it. The start of battle, enemy units appear on each floor. I don't think that would be great for us. But we also have that pyre thing that makes it easier. It's just that now we're getting up to the point where they're not all going to be pushovers. So it, oh, I'm yeah. scared. 
Wait, is this the one where it puts like those four units that are all like one health? I don't think so. They're all the bird people, right? I mean, they are, but like these are the some of the enemies. I don't know. Because this is just at the start of oh, battle. Oh, okay, there. Yeah, I, I yeah, remember. I think yeah, this would, this would be perfect for us then. Pro if it's what I think it is, it should be perfectly fine. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, this is great because they're going to be dazed immediately, so it doesn't matter. Except for the fact that... Well, they don't man's, have... My man's taking 21. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I think that's definitely... Well, him taking 21 isn't so bad, considering that when Restoration Detonation comes around, it'll be pretty good. It's like a, like a pinball machine. Oh, sharpen on the front guy. Yeah, yeah. Because they'll kill themselves on him. Available. We haven't seen any of our fucking train stewards. Oh or my anything. god. And it's perma. I think, yeah, putting on him is good because the sweep's gonna kill the small guy. Well, it won't kill the small no, guy. No, the thorns are gonna kill the small guy. Or we can just kill the small guy. Yeah. Oh, but we missed the chance to use virtual battle. Oh well. That would hurt a little bit. Yes, play as many units as we possibly fucking can. Oh. One available. Yo, okay, I say we do channel song instead on the second floor and then put the welder helper in when he comes back around. Do we put him in front? I mean... Well, that way he can get the benefit of the, the armor. armor. Otherwise, the, the other guy will probably just die to whatever comes in. Okay. Yeah, I was really hoping we'd get the detonation by now, but... Oh, well. He's still going to take 383 damage before he even gets to a trump card. Just cuz. It, it, like, doesn't matter. Let's go. Inferno. Deal 100 damage with friendly and enemy units. That's too scary. But it, it's great on floors that are beefed out that you don't have anybody on, though. Impish Scholar. 
return a random consumed spell to your so hand. That's only going to trigger on uh, the one consumed card that we have. Yeah. Um, and then battering ram. Deal damage to the front enemy unit equal to four times the amount of armor and friendly units. Nice. Eh. Invigorating solution plus three, uh, plus three draw next turn. Awake, restore 30 health, apply regen four. And then focus growth, restore 25 health, draw plus two next turn. I think focus growth is better. Um, but I don't know. It's cheaper, and I think it might be good to get another bigger heal so we're not depending on the detonator to come around. But um, the draw two, I think, is more valuable than the region four. Yeah. I think we need more removal. What's a good like minimum number of of, of cards uh, of units to have? Like six. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, maybe five. For what we're doing. Eight spikes. Yo, double stack. Two twelve rage. I mean, that's pretty good. Did it upgrade the? Uh, did it up the amount that it cost? Oh, nice. Yeah, you're kind of just like playing. You have four, so it's like. So the next one we have Merchant of Steel to upgrade one of our units. What's Forgotten Boons? Is that just another like event? Oh, it's just money. Yeah. I mean, I think we just save some money and then... Merchant of Steel? Well, I mean, do we need anything that he's upgrading really? Um, well... Everything's almost fully upgraded. This will be for our units, so yeah, this no. would be only if we wanted to upgrade like the Welder Helper. Really? Let me just like purge another card. We want to get through the shit as soon as possible. The less cards we have, the quicker we can get to... Yeah, the good shit. And be able to play all of our units so we can channel song easier. Because it feels like we're waiting around for shit too, so I like I definitely agree. Is it consume? That's that's pretty good. And it's not going to come back around. Yeah. So it like kind of self is a pseudo um, reduction in cards in the pool. Okay, yeah, just come in here and just do that then. Awesome. How much damage does our fucking pyro take if we don't play that? Five. Oh, pff, nothing. Um. There's. I guess, yeah, might as well just play it. There's no real point in doing the other ones. Alright. Well the helper would be good. Play on the on the bottom floor. Wait, 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 wait. How much space do train stewards take up? Two. So we would be missing out on like one space on the bottom floor. Does that bother you? I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, never mind. I don't want to overthink it. Yeah. Put him up there in preparation for Demon Fiend, I guess. Yeah. Gotta give our, our boy in the front there spikes.
the will of the vines. Okay. Oh, we gotta play, yeah. No one really can use that. Oh, that's the good torch, right? Mm. Oh. They're both gonna die anyways. And we're not reducing a bunch of dam- oh, It only does one damage. It gives us these scourges. Mm. Oh yeah, that's a good point. One available. Perfect. Let's go. I just realized that giving our front enemy, uh, our front unit up there, uh, armor, actually, un uh, unknowingly uh, nerfed our ability to use our restoration thing. But that's okay. It doesn't consume, right? So it's like free damage. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're gonna win this just fine. If we can get a spell that applies multi-strike, I think we'd probably be like, unstoppable there. We would not be able to play our ritual anymore if we did that. Yeah. I think playing our ritual and our main dude is hella good. God, he's doing so much fucking damage, dude. I thought they usually waited for all the things to get killed. No. Okay. That seems like a pretty good thing to do. Oh my god, they're so close to killing him just on this floor. damage does it do? It does 20 damage. So... It's 5 health. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> And then, uh, yeah. <laughs> Just boom. <laughs> Let's go. Cycle of life. Enhance a unit with plus 10 health. Apply four spikes. That's pretty good. Uh, reinforce. Consume double armor on a unit or another channel song. Cycle of life seems pretty cool for our, uh, our main uh, tank dude in the beginning. Yeah, but like, it's he doesn't cost, need though. it. No, no, yeah. It's just like icing. All right. Do we want more room on the floors? Or more draw. Check the, the map real quick. I want to see. So we have these last two bits here. Are we going to be getting another unit in, in all this? Or are we like set for units? Oh, you can duplicate. It I, might be worth... I think if we get the energy, then we can duplicate the big boy. Okay. And then... And we'll have two big boys. Yeah. 
Like you a know, channel song. Channel one. song one. And it'll it'll increase the uh, the chance to get it in the first place. Um, I say remove it. I'm just gonna re like remove, remove one, one of one of each. Yeah. Okay. I think that's good, yeah. Let's go. I mean... It's actually kind of difficult. I'm slaying, I like... Yeah. Well, I mean, we've been buffing... Ah. <laughs> all right the penitent these purifiers will burden you with the weight of their of your sins okay so non-boss enemy units enter with spikes plus five that seems not something that we want to do i don't know it seems scary and we have plenty of money i think we're good <laughs> and we have yeah. multi-strike units that no that that doesn't sound like a fun time to me tap it in Oh my god. We can just play Demon Fiend and Hornbreaker Prince on the first floor. And we have enough room to put the uh, the Welder Helper when it comes back around. The only thing we're missing now is now we no longer have um, sweep on the bottom floor. But sweep on the second floor actually might be kind of nice. We have another warm breaker frame. This is so crazy. See now, like it's like, is it better just to play the Hornbreaker fiend, uh, not the Hornbreaker fiend, uh, the, the the demon fiend right now, or wait to channel song it? I think we just wait to channel song it. We have the thing. We just have to play like. Two more units and then we're good. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, I think that's still smart. Yeah, I think we're good. Alright, so definitely play our husk on the second floor. And do we want to give him a little bit of a boost on the second floor for his uh, his sweep? Wait. Uh, well, because that way he can do... He's going to kill that thing anyways. That's true, that's true. So now it's like if we play Channel Song... Oh, <laughs> It's like we could either get the the tiniest dude or the biggest dude. We're gonna. I'm pretty sure we're just gonna draw. Yeah, who probably we need. right now. Never mind. I, I, th I thought I could just call it. Oh, now we can get full advantage of our uh, restoration detonation. You're good. He slayed two T people. Oh, fuck. Let's go. Man. Yo, where where did our... Oh, we have to, like... I think we have one more uh, turn before we can play our little dude again. That's so long. Um, is there any units, units like up above that we can use it on? Damn. Oh, he has days. Ah, oh, so sick, dude. Our whole, our whole, like, situation is so nice. But that... 
it sucks because like it's not going to be super useful. It's just going to heal him. I guess it's not that bad to kill him. It's just not like... It doesn't consume, so I guess it doesn't... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's better. So sick. It, it just doesn't make... Yeah, I'm... I'm We, like, just didn't even need the other stuff. Yeah. That's insane. He does so much damage. <laughs> That's crazy. Pyre Chomper is nice. Um, just applying Rage 3 for a zero cost. Eh. Yeah, I think we just, like... Like, yeah, it's one of those things where I kind of like Pyre Chomper, but at the same time, it's just another unit, which... Restoring retreat to send a unit and restore 10 health. Hmm. That could be interesting to, um, if we have a similar situation that just happened right now, we could just put everything on the first floor. Really just so they can all have a turn because <laughs> we're killing them so fast. Yeah. Um, I think we just skipped though. Okay. Okay, so what we got here? We have some money, some other stuff. Um, upgrade one of our units, or we get a trinket. I think we get a trinket. Yeah. All right, so we got split anvil. When you play a spell, spells in hand that cost less are reduced to zero for the turn. That's really good if we decide we want to just just hard play one of our uh, our, our demon fiends. Then, then we can just play whatever. Not that we have a ton of high cost cards. No, no, no. It's spell cards. Oh. When you play a spell, hands that are, are oh, that it be it is less good. Jack strips deal two damage whenever an enemy unit moves between floors. That's not bad. I think that would be better to have like earlier on, but yeah. it's not that bad. Friendly units get, get plus three health. Just giving everything plus three health is also just nice. Um. I don't know, it's... You can just reroll. Alright, X cost cards get plus three to their X value when played. We don't have any of those. Grant plus four stacks of armor each time it is applied, or friendly units enter with rage three. That's pretty good. Yeah. Alright. What do we got? What do we got? A penance yard comes into view, a truly terrible sight. Dead hellborn from across the nine rings of hell are stung, strung up as atonement, just for existing. But at the base of these awful contraptions are some familiar blights. But peeking through, you can see something of value underneath the rubble. So the one with the ember, you get playing a blight card deals 100 damage to the front enemy unit. We don't have any blight cards, do we? Um, this is a like we'll get one blight card that calcified oh, or gain three calcified embers, and that's a blight card. Okay, yeah. and then penitent remains when summoned. Friendly units get plus one for every blight card in your deck, so they'll all get plus three. Also, kind of good. When you play your first blight card each turn, restore five fire health. Don't really care about that one. Um, no, I just don't want to like this is all like picking up the deck. Yeah, I mean I can see that. I think they're just outside of being, like, enough worth. If they had upped the numbers by, like, one or two each, it would be more enticing. I wish we could reroll again. Yeah. Crypto Torch. I saw someone in Norton Lions chat one time look at Seraph the Chaste and it was like more like Seraph the Incel. <laughs> Purifying em Emblem. Seraph will remove half of any buff and debuff effect stacks. And that's like every time they come in. Yeah. When they do the. 
That sucks for our thorns, but luckily none of our thorn cards. It consume. also sucks for our rage. Yeah, it also sucks for our rage. Okay, so we have a choice here. We can go Hornbreaker Prince and Husk, or Hornbreaker Prince and Demon Fiend. Hmm. If we don't play the Demon Fiend, we can get we can get him like in the next like couple turns. And it also allows to play our our good Torch. How much health does that guy up on the second floor have? We can just kill that second floor guy. Yeah, but then our guy will take. True. Ooh, you can just torch the the big boy right there, and he'll die this turn. Sick. Oh, this is good to. You're gonna. Oh, you're gonna rage the. Uh, well, uh, the, the no. sweep unit. That might actually be kind of sick, but. It won't matter. The, yeah. These guys are gonna die. Like. I can't believe he uses it as he leaves, too. What a dick. Yeah. Two available. Yo. In the future, I'm starting to think that maybe because we have Slay at 20. No, nah, never mind, never mind. I was going to say, oh, upping the, the sweep damage, but then I realized by upping the sweep damage, we might prevent him from being able to slay in the first place. Never mind. Basically, Bottom Boy is just there to take out the tiny, tiny people. Yeah. The Riff Raff, if you will. I think the idea here is just play like you normally would with uh, the, uh, the buffs, just knowing that they're going to be like reduced effectiveness, but luckily we don't depend on the buffs, they're just nice. It rounds up? That sucks. doesn't seem to help anything really. Is there anybody on the top floor? No. Yeah, I mean like everything's gonna die. And you can't like reduce damage necessarily with it. The demon fiend didn't have to do anything. He's just like, if you can't get past my my train steward, then you don't deserve my punch. <laughs> Definitely play the Steel Enhancer. The great thing about Steel Enhancer is it it's not a buff that can be reduced. Yeah. And the charade and the mid defeat. It probably says charade. And the charade.
think you can kill him, but you can't. <laughs> Dude, getting that, that, uh, that focus growth was really useful. I will say, just now, you you, you like, almost attacked your own guy with a torch. No, I, I wanted... I was thinking... I need some of these people. Like, either he needs to die or, or somebody else so we can get the other thing out there. I don't want to split up the... Oh, uh, the bros? Yeah. Let's see. Looks like we're splitting the bros, maybe. We can use him as a restoration um, proc, maybe. Who? Um, the uh, the uh, train steward up above. Oh, but he's going to summon people anyways every turn so no he doesn't summon people this is the final wave okay um so i definitely feel like yeah playing that is good which it's great to get it on this turn because that means we're not it's not gonna be reduced again i mean sharpen is Oh, it's going to be reduced, though. Oh. It, it, you just The attack won't be reduced. The spikes will. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Damn, that sucks. Damn, he does so much damage. Hmm. Hmm. Well, so our, our fiend is going to survive two full attacks because he does 30. I think if we apply the rage and oh, we, and he has spikes. Um, but yeah, if we apply the rage, he'll at least be able to attack one, uh, twice because he won't get killed the second time around. Um, which will yeah but out. if we don't get him out now he might not draw yeah he might not draw well, we have where's channel song oh, we used it to get him didn't we yeah oh fuck yeah and you gotta play steel enhancer just to hold it over even yeah all right well i think we lost Okay. Yeah, we lost. Damn. That's nuts. Now, where did we go wrong with this? Cause like, I, I shouldn't have put that. I shouldn't have put the dude with the other dude. The oh, the train steward. Yeah, that was stupid. Because we could have won if I just double stacked them, I think. Yeah. I also think that our, our main dude didn't get quite as... Might not have paid enough attention to making sure that he got the kills. You know what I mean? No, well, I was less concerned with that. More concerned with the... The... We also didn't have time to really, like, buff up... Yeah. Our secondary... Awesome dudes. Still a great run, though. Like, I'm not... Uh, yeah, for a first time. Yeah, for a first ever run. You're this close, though. This close. <laughs>